Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another AITA story for you. This one is Am I the Astronaut for Getting Upset When My 28 Male Girlfriend 25 Female Suggested We Split the Dinner Bill. For context, this is a four-year relationship and we live together. I pay for utilities, she buys groceries, and we both split rent and pay our personal bills on our own. We have a joint account where we save for a future home. Finances have never been a huge issue. My girlfriend and I are not flat broke, but we're in a place where saving money is a priority. She budgets beautifully and is wonderful with saving money. Therefore, it is fair to say she has more money than I do because she's better at budgeting. My girlfriend makes it a point to make us go out to dinner once a week or every other week. She takes me to places I like or a place we both equally enjoy. She always offers to pay and I always let her. She's not like normal girls who do the check dance but still expects the man to pay. Whenever the bill comes, the waiter hands me the check and without missing a beat, she always asks, do you want me to pay? I always agree. I think it's such a nice perk in the relationship. I like when she takes me on dates. It makes me feel good about saving money. I have good food. She spends the whole evening asking about me, complimenting me, and planning our futures. She's very sweet and does so much for me. The problem came up last night when she had a huge craving for appetizers and margaritas. She complained about spending her day off cleaning the entire kitchen and she didn't want to dirty any other dishes. She suggested we go out and I didn't see a problem with it. We had a great meal. Between the two of us, we had a few margaritas and the bill was adding up. Before the bill came, she asked if I would mind if we split the check and began to explain how much these nights out are really eating away at her food budget. This is where I got confused. She invited me out to dinner, made the suggestion, and is insisting we split the check. I would have denied the offer if I knew I would have to pay. She also jabbed at me for always letting her pay and never once offering. She feels she's being taken advantage of, and if it wasn't for her, we would never go out on dates because she's the one who makes plans and pays. Is it really so awful that I don't want to pay for every single date and saving money is more important to me? Okay, time out. Bro minimized here and gets one of these because the problem is that you're saying, is it bad that I don't want to pay for every single date? No, it's bad that you don't want to pay for any of them. It's bad that you want to pay for zero of them. Game on. We had a small argument. She got really upset, paid the check, and we walked home without speaking. I said we just won't go out to dinner anymore. The suggestion or any other suggestions weren't helpful. She's been distant and incredibly upset and is now mentioning the weirdest problems and making me feel like a bad boyfriend. She even mentioned wanting to break up over a $90 check. This is news to me, but overnight I became an unappreciative and ignorant boyfriend who never helps out or makes her feel special. But we go out for dates every week. Please let me know. Am I the astronaut for getting upset with my girlfriend for wanting to split the check? There's an update. There's an update. But let's talk about this for a second. Okay, so I I have some some maybe extreme views on this, and Candy Thunder knows it's and the, this is this is a me thing. This is not a what I think other people should do thing. If I were in Op's position here, I would feel terrible. It would never get to the point that it got to. Uh, I'm going to be the guy who tries to grab the check, even if it's going to cause me a little bit of pain. I would rather be that and certainly wouldn't let someone pay every single time. I know you guys live together. I get that. And you have this arrangement and she asks the question that she asks is very important. The wording there is very important. He said the check arrives every time she asks, do you want me to pay? And he says, yes, it is not a, oh, let me grab this. It's not a my treat. It's not a I got it. It is a do you want me to pay? You're making her ask this incredibly awkward question in the first place. And she knows what's coming next, which sucks. And she's accepted it to a point, apparently, because you guys keep going out and she knows it's she knows it's going to happen. But finally gets to the frustrated point where she's like, look, OK, I want to go out. I just don't want to be the only one making it happen. And, and yes, generally, I think the person who invites is the, the one who pays. But when you're in a relationship and you're living together, it's a little bit different. We also do, don't do the separate finances thing. And I know a lot of couples do that for very good reasons. And if it works for you, great. This is one of the complications. This is one of the complications. Like, and there's no, you have to figure out a strategy for it. You have to have some kind of structure. You've got to be on the same page about it. And you're not. You're not on the same page. And if you're not on the same page about this, you're not on the same page about a lot of things. You just don't know it yet, bro. This post hit me like a ton of bricks. I've never felt so terrible about how I've treated my partner. 
I was so hung up on the principle of her always paying for my meals and suddenly changing the dynamic. I was so hung up on the idea of wanting to save money and being impressed, albeit jealous, of the fact that she always had so much money saved. I've reached out to her with an apology and have insisted that we have an at-home date with a bottle of wine, our two laptops, and a budgeting spreadsheet so we can both be on the same page. I really admire how equitable she's been in the relationship and have never had anyone treat me the way she does in a relationship. It felt so good to be taken care of, but as many of you painfully pointed out, I am the asshole and she deserves some reciprocity. At least there's this, right? Okay, there's some hope. There's hope. There's hope. We could have an upswing here and that would be that would be delightful to see him really right this ship. It doesn't, it, stating it, claiming it, owning it, that does not fix anything, right? It's the first step toward fixing things, but there's going to be a lot of hard work that goes into actually providing that reciprocity here. And the fact that he let this go on as long as he let it go on, him letting it go on as long as he let it go on is is a huge problem for me. Because I'm like, really, you didn't see anything wrong that whole time. The the words that she used whenever she asked about paying the bill, you, you never saw anything wrong with that? Like, Pay attention, man. Pay attention to the way your partner says things. Pay attention to the tone that they use. Pay attention to things that are done out of character and look at the, the root causes. And I guarantee you it goes a lot deeper than you think it is right now. I guarantee you it goes deeper than budgeting. Start paying attention. And I know you like being taken care of, but you're going to have to do some taking care of too, or you're going to F this up and lose it. You're still here. For sure, you got a ways to go to, to de-earn that badge. Where does he go on the scale here? Knowing that he's knowing that he's he's at least recognized it, right? He's at, he's recognized it. The budget side of it. There's more. There's not 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 like update more. There's no more to the story. I'm just saying there's more going on that he has not figured out yet. But for the surface issue that's going on here, where does he land on the scale? I think this is I think this is a two. I'm giving him a little bit of a hope because because he has at least recognized that he was the asshole. He at least recognized what he was doing was wrong and he got wrapped up in whatever reasons he had for it. He realized it was wrong because the internet told him he was wrong and uh, says he is willing to jump in and fix this thing. So not quite to ask Khan one because there is some hope, but bro, you got some work to do. Better get to work. Why not be like, hey, babe, I want to make up for this now. Let me take you to your favorite place. I'm buying. And for the next 20, 30 times I'm buying, we just need to make them a little bit less frequent because I'm not as good at the money as you. You know what I mean? That would have been a step. The at-home dinner, yes, it's at least it's it's a baby step. But man, there was an opportunity here to really be like, yes, I will fix this starting now. Let's go. My treat.